Do you have a burning question about Dubai real estate that's really, really bothering you and you want an answer? Or perhaps about life in general in Dubai or perhaps in general? I'm going to answer some of the people who send in their questions in the comment section. If you do, I will answer you as well. Hey guys, I'm going to answer some of the subscribers and the questions and the comments that they ask. Thank you very much for bringing them forth. If you have a question, please do ask. Can you share some success stories of investors who have benefited from the Dubai real estate market? Look, there's a lot of success stories. A lot of people invested pre-2008. They've made a lot of money. But don't forget, even people who invested in properties pre-2008, I still remember meeting uh, somebody in 2014 and he came up to me and said, oh, father, I've not made a lot of money on the villa I invested in. I said, like, what do you mean? And he had invested in a prime community in Dubai. And I asked him in return, how long have you been living in this villa? And he said, I think eight years, 10 years, something like that. I said, you've literally lived 10 years rent free without the headache of having to deal with the landlord. That's good news, isn't it? Today, that villa is probably like three times to what he's probably bought it at. And he hadn't thought about it like that. And he looked at me and he said, hmm, that does make a point, right? Ali Shafkat 8484 says, Dubai has shortest bull and bear cycle. All these hypes in Dubai property will play down in one or two years from now. So better wait until that happens and then enter the market. But if you entered in 2018, 20, then now is the right time to cash out your investment and hold on the cash for two years. Maybe. I don't know. Right, so I clearly remember 2014 uh, when there was a person I knew he was handling a large fund, a private fund of investors, and they said, "Look, uh, we think that the market's reached a top; it's going to correct." So they pulled a lot of money out and they moved a lot of money to Europe, to a country in Europe, and that investment not only cost them a lot of money because the Dubai market did not correct as they had perceived or as early as they perceived. And the European country they ended up investing in, they don't give them the returns that they were expecting and they ended up bringing the money back. But who knows? I can't. I don't. Maybe if you've got ready property and you want to flip, fine. But then somebody else replies to Ali Shafka, don't you think that things like foreign investments, big new projects and global economic trends could keep the current market growth going? How do you balance this with the prediction that the market will go down in one to two years? Mm, okay, so... Subscribers are replying to each other, which is good. Captain Gold says, Hello, Fahad. Congratulations on producing very good and rational content along the lines of Alicia's question. Alicia, I didn't see this question. If a property is owned free and clear, wouldn't it be better to hold and rent it for two to three years and then sell it if advantageous? To get back into a great development location will be more expensive. Uh, yes, that could be a midterm to a long-term strategy. Along the line, if a property is owned free and clear, wouldn't it be better to hold and rent it for two, three years and then sell if it wants? Look, you're thinking, hold it for two, three years, which means you can get enough rent and then sell it if advantageous. But the, but the main thing is, it again comes back to what your strategy is. If your strategy is to actually hold on to the property for 10 years or 20 years, then it's not advantageous to sell it. It's rather to build your portfolio. Hey guys, thank you for watching the video. I hope you liked it. My name is Fad Daud. I've been doing this for 15 plus years. I started in uh, Toronto, Canada in 2006. And since 2007, I've been based in Dubai and doing real estate in Dubai. Look, if you're looking to work with me, there's a form below and my mobile number. I do paid consulting. You can also uh, get help for uh, from my team for services. If you like the video, press the like button, press the subscribe and the bell icon and share it with uh, your friends who you feel would be able to benefit from the content of this video. Last but not the least, I'll repeat, me and my team's role is always going to be to help and select the best property for you. Your role will be to invest in that property and we will in turn invest in your life and your future. Bye for now.